Hey there, Alex here. I'm going to give you a demo on how to use the black hole effect in 2DX FX for Unity. Uh, and I think the best way to illustrate this is just to build it from scratch. So we have this nerf pattern that we had used at one point in the past um, that is just kind of this cool texture here. So let me make this a little bit bigger on the screen. Kind of center it up there, a little bit bigger. And let's go ahead and just apply directly to it um, the black hole effect. So we'll do add component. And if you type it out here, black hole. So that's what we're seeing by default. Uh, it does this crazy swirl on it. And you can see how it kind of like almost donuts it from the middle. And then it kills the edges too. To make this easier to see, let's just take our camera and go to solid color. And let's go ahead and set that to black. And this is similar to what we might be using it in the game with anyway. Um, and then here from the inspector, we can just kind of take these properties and dial them back till we can kind of see what's going on here. So one thing we can start with is taking that distortion and turning it all the way off. Well, here's zero actually. Zero's out. And it basically, it's you can see how here's where the original sprite is. It's kind of ghosted it in around here, so it does cut up quite a bit of it, um, which you can play with. And then there's this whole feature here. This is like the donut cutout part of it. And then, again, playing with the distortion here is the swirl. But you notice that there's a speed property here. And what happens if we play this, it just sits there and starts to rotate it, much like you might see a black hole. So if we dial up, for example, that distortion, it all starts kind of going to a point of singularity. If we make that bigger on the screen, let me just make it here, bigger in the scene. You know, we can make this thing as big as we need it to be. Um, yeah, let's just make it really big here. So you can get something super intense like that. Uh, the, the last property here on the, uh, the thing is a fading thing. So you can make this subtle, you know, barely in the background, just kind of happening. So there's some stuff with that. And then there's also a color overlay. Uh, so you can blend colors into it. Starting with white as a base, here we're adding some reds into it to make it more of a pink wash. Uh, so you can really do some some neat distortion with it there. You could even tween colors, so you could set it to go, you know, like a red to bluish or something like that. Same thing. We started off with a you know something that was pink and yellow, and now it's this more bluish greenish thing here. Just play with those hues, and you could really come up with some interesting stuff there. So even this, like right here, is almost something that could even make sense for what we're trying to achieve here with what's um, you know, just losing your mind. There's just stuff spinning out of control here. Fade it down a little bit. So there it is. I think even something not unlike this. Uh, one thing that's worth noting here is you need, as far as I know, you don't know, you can't save these values. So if you start it and then experiment with it, get some values you like, you know, either write them down or just take a quick screenshot of them, that's another way to do it, and then you have that as a reference point. As soon as I stop this, it's going to kind of default back to what it was. So just keep that in mind, but that's really all it is to it. So um, using that as a base point, I think uh, we can come up with something cool that makes sense to swirl and go from there. Cool. Hope this helped. Talk to you soon.